Hello and welcome to Stop Smoking Relaxation Hypnosis. My name is Jason Newland and this is uh, jasonnewland.com. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and we're going to go through a, a little bit of a body scan and then I'm going to just talk. Okay. So part of the reason the words relaxation hypnosis is connected to the stop smoking is because it's very gentle. These are very gentle recordings. So you can just take your time. You can give yourself some space and it's easier to make decisions when you're feeling relaxed. And sometimes when you have that, it's like a, a little gap, you know, that gap of relaxation and maybe you make a decision and you choose and you're going to stick to it. And sometimes, you know, it kind of floats away and we forget about it. But when it's, when you make that decision and you're feeling a certain way, uh, like really deeply relaxed and calm. And so there, there's that gap between how you felt before and how you're going to feel afterwards. So there's that gap, which is where the deep comfort is and, there's that connection to your unconscious mind as well, which is responsible for so many of your unconscious processes. So, you know, there's a lot of things that are done in your body and in your mind where you're not aware of it. We're not aware and we don't need to be aware. So heartbeat. The heart pumping, the blood circulating, uh, the lungs, the, you know, all the major organs working. It's all part of the unconscious mind does all that. It's all automatic. Breathing. And then all the things that your brain does, all the millions of things that your brain does continuously. None of that is conscious, just continuously happens. Falling asleep, uh, being warned, I say, perhaps I shouldn't use the word warned, but your body lets you know when it's time to go to the toilet. Your body lets you know when it's time to eat. None of that is under your conscious control. So your body lets you know, your mind lets you know. And there's other times when your body and your mind lets you know things and we don't necessarily take any notice. Sometimes maybe we're overdoing it and your body and your mind is letting you know that uh, by increasing your stress levels that you have to Take a step back. Perhaps you, should, you need to make some changes. You know, the body, the mind gives you these unpleasant feelings in the hope that maybe you'll do something to stop those unpleasant feelings. Because none of us like to feel displeasure or discomfort. Now, of course, smoking is harmful for us. I'm not going to go into all that. That's boring. Uh, besides, we've known that since we were born, really, haven't we? There's no one alive, really, you know, over the age of 10 that doesn't know that smoking is harmful. We've known our whole lives. I've known my whole life. I'm 52. I've known right pretty much from the age of being able to understand anything so we don't need to go through that as i said that's boring and it's been done i was going to say it's been done to death but excuse the pun 
So, you know, so some people, you know, if you focus on that side of things, the um, ill health and all that stuff, and that that is enough for some people to stop smoking. And it's sometimes not enough. Because when you think that people start smoking already knowing that, it's not really much of a deterrent, I guess. So, and then there's some people that get ill and they need to stop. And that's more of a, I mean, that's a motivation, definitely, I would say, to stop smoking. Now, whatever reason you're choosing to change your habits and to become a non-smoker or ex-smoker, whatever reason behind that, that's personal to you. And focusing on it can help. Now, I don't know the reason. You want to, you, you want to stop, or maybe you already have stopped and you're listening as backup. You're listening because having a nice, relaxing recording can actually, uh, just help you to let go and help you to feel less stressed and tense and allow your body to relax those parts, which maybe you've been holding unnecessarily, you know, feelings of discomfort and can just let that go, let it go, let the feelings just disappear so that you can have more of these feelings of comfort and relaxation. So to have that back up continually allowing you to let go even more. But also knowing your real reason for wanting to stop. And you might not tell anyone your real reason. And you don't need to tell anyone here. But you know why. You know why you want to stop. And it's personal to you. And I'm not even going to go through the possible scenarios because I could and I could spend the next hour doing that but I'm not going to I probably will in future recordings to be fair uh, but on this recording I'm not I'm not even going to guess because you know you know why you're either going to stop or you have already stopped you know why and it's a big reason. It's a very important, hugely important reason for you. It's not willy-nilly. It's not just, well, yeah, I feel I'll stop because, yeah, you know. There's actually, you've got thoughts in your head and ideas and maybe images that are so strong that you almost have no choice but to stop. But you've done that yourself. You've added those images. You've created those yourself. Or, I mean, you might not create the images and maybe memories, but you're choosing to think about that stuff. You're choosing to use those memories for your own well-being so that you can become healthier and feel better and any of the other benefits that may come from stopping smoking. So you know why. This isn't just, uh, you're not just re listening to this recording for the sake of it you know that there's a very, very important reason why you've decided to let go of cigarettes, 
why you've decided to turn your back on them and to move forward with your life without them in your life. Without cigarettes anywhere near you. And it's a personal reason. And that's quite good really in a sense of our whole lives are personal to us. Our journey, you know, we're going through a journey, our decisions, it's personal. We may share those feelings and those ambitions and, you know, whatever's going on in our mind and the reason behind our actions. We may share that with others, but it's still personal. It's still us. We're the only ones that really uh, get to experience internally those emotions connected with our decisions, with our wants, with our needs, with the past, with our regrets which we all have, which is natural. Blimey, I've got some regrets. But it's fine. It's learning to just be more gentle with yourself. Generally. I mean, that's one of the things that I really try and focus on in a big way, is to be gentle with yourself. That being kind to yourself is really important as well. But as I come to think about it, over time, being gentle it seems almost like the most important thing. It can really take the edge off. It can really make a difference between feeling hopeless and feeling oh maybe things are going to be okay to then feeling things are going to be really good sometimes we can't get straight to that feeling of uh, total positivity things are going to be wonderful it takes a bit of time maybe we need to do it in steps so by being gentle with yourself by being kind to yourself, it allows you to make those small steps that may be needed for you to move from one place to another, to move from one way of thinking to a new way of thinking to move from negativity to positivity. Moving from ill health to well-being. Or in the case of this recording, to move from stop smoking to feeling relaxed and to be a non-smoker, an ex-smoker. Or to not even think about smoking, almost like it doesn't even exist anymore. Because it's no longer important. Has it ever been important? I don't know. So, as you get in touch with your body, noticing that you feel more relaxed already. I do a quick body scan going through your forehead, noticing how relaxed you feel in your face, your eyes, your jaw, your mouth, tongue, your throat, the back of your neck, all the way down your neck, into your back, your spine, all the way down your spine, into your lower back and your hips, being aware of the muscles in your upper back, middle and lower back, your chest and your stomach, your shoulders, your upper arms, your elbows, 
forearms, wrists, your hands and your fingers, buttocks and groin, your thighs, your knees, shins, calf muscles and ankles, feet and toes. Feeling peaceful in your mind. I like the the idea of your mind and opening all the windows in your mind. And I mention this every now and then. I just like the idea of having the windows open so that the wind, the air, blows through your mind, blowing away any old, negative, outdated thoughts and feelings blowing them through the other window, gone. Just allowing them to disappear as the whole of your mind feels cleansed by that healing, pure air that's entering through the windows. And in the absence of negativity, positivity grows so quickly, so quickly. It's almost as if the positivity starts to develop instantly. So that you feel those positive thoughts and feelings in your mind growing and you may not even know why you don't need to necessarily know why you are feeling more relaxed and more positive but you can enjoy it you can embrace feeling those positive sensations, comfort, pleasure, spreading through your body and into your mind. And you start to notice that any decision, anything you say right now, anything that is useful to you, that can really transform your life, will sink deep into your unconscious mind. And you will benefit from that. So if there's something that you'd like to say, a change that you'd like to make, such as stop smoking, you can say it. Maybe not out loud, but in your mind, you can say the words. You can put it as a question. Can I please stop smoking? You can put it as a statement. I want to stop smoking. Or you can put it in a, in a different way. You can make it a statement where you say, I have stopped smoking or I am a non-smoker. I'm an ex-smoker. I'm now going to enjoy feeling happy and healthier. So however you want to word these things, and even though you might have not said all those things that I've just said, it's all still gone into your unconscious mind. It's all being absorbed. Because your unconscious mind relaxes and is very open to positive suggestions. And once those positive suggestions go in, they seem to stay there. Unless, of course, in the future you make changes. Your 
conscious, unconscious mind loves positive thinking. Useful, helpful, happy, healthy thoughts and actions. All that good stuff is welcome into your unconscious mind. And it's affected and affects your mind and your life instantly in a positive way. As you look forward to the future, things can change in an instant. And you can feel completely different straight away. And you can celebrate that feeling. Enjoy those changes that have occurred naturally and easily within your mind and your body. So that from now on, You can feel so good and so happy about your decision to make changes for your well-being, for your health, for your happiness. Remembering all the time to be gentle and to be kind to yourself. 